Hey guys, it's Alex, and today I'm going to show you how to trim your goatee using a straight razor. So these are the tools I'm going to be using. I'm going to put a link in the description for these tools. I'm just going to briefly walk you through the, what I'm using here and why. So right here I got my straight razor. This actually extends the blade a little further out to make it easier to see. I'm going to be using the Dorco Prime razor blades. Here I'm using my wall senior clippers with a number one guard. I got the cordless Andy Slimline Pro Li trimmers here, Tomb 45 shave gel, and a comb and a towel. And that's pretty much all you need. So I'm going to start by taking down the length of the goatee using the number one guard on the cordless seniors. I'm going against the grain, so in the cases where my hair grows in sideways, I'm going, making sure to go in the opposite direction. And I'm pushing down pretty hard with these clippers because the idea is I'm trying to get that comb on the guard, the front part of it, to lift up as many hairs as possible to be cut just so I don't miss any hairs or have any hairs left over. Um, and I'm also stretching the skin using my mouth to kind of push my, the hair up in, so that way the clipper guards can catch that hair easier. And that's basically all you need to do for this first step. So my guide for the outsides of the goatee is going to be right over the center of my eyes. That's where I'm going to use my trimmers to make my initial line. Using the trimmers here, you want to start usually outside of where you think that line's going to be because if it's crooked or you need to go in more, you have a little bit more room to do that. So when you're starting to learn how to trim your goatee, always be conservative with your lines. Start a little bit further out than where you think the line will be. That way you can go in a little bit further to make that line a little bit more straight. Now this step isn't 100% necessary when it comes to outlining the goatee before you shave, but I have found that having that initial guide to follow before you start shaving makes your the end result a lot better because you have a line to follow. So I always recommend to my clients when they're trying to maintain their goatee or beard at home, outline the goatee first and then follow it up with the razor so that way you get nice sharp lines. So here I'm just gonna apply the shave gel and I'm just using a circular motion to kind of help lift up the hairs a little bit more and I'm also pressing down pretty hard because I want the shave gel to be on my skin not just on the hair but on the skin because that's what creates that nice smooth glide is when the skin is lubricated and you want to be liberal with this. Use as much shave gel as you think you might need and it's okay to stop and reapply in the middle of the shave. It's better to have too much shave gel than not enough. So now I'm going to load my razor. All I'm going to do is keep the razor blade in the package and snap it in half until you hear two snaps. And take half the blade out, put it inside the razor, close it up, and now it's ready to go. So I'm going to start the shave on the left side of my face. So I'm right-handed, so this is my left side. And I'm being careful here to stretch the skin as much as I can. So once my razor gets full of hair, I'll just wipe the excess off on the towel and go back to work. Being careful to make sure I keep stretching the skin as much as possible. Now when you're shaving with a straight razor, it does take a lot of patience. This is not something that you should do pretty quickly. It, especially if you're first learning, if you're new to this, you want to take your time because you 
it is very easy to cut yourself with a straight razor. Now, I try to go with the grain as much as possible, but just sometimes because of the angles that I'm working with and the direction that my hair grows, uh, you, I sometimes will go against the grain, but I try to avoid that in most cases, just because you want that's what leads to ingrown hairs or irritation when you shave against the grain. Now I'm shaving the right side of my face and this is where the angles get kind of weird and you really need to trust your mirror in order to see this and in some cases here I'm going against the grain like I mentioned you know that's that's really the only case unless you want to try to shave with your weak hand this is really your only option um, so just continuing to stretch the skin to prevent cutting and just keep working keeping the skin as tight as possible So here I just kind of wanted to show you a close-up of what I'm doing. Now above the lip area is the easiest place to cut yourself. So you want to stretch the skin as much as possible here. When I'm shaving over my nose, I'll actually use two hands to help stabilize that blade even more because again, this is one of the easiest places to cut yourself. So using two hands is okay as I'm doing here. This is going to help give you a lot more stabilization and prevent cutting. When it comes to cleaning up the inside of the goatee, I don't try to do anything fancy here. All I do is just clean up all the hairs where it doesn't fill in really well. And I'll just use my tongue to stretch that area to prevent cutting myself. And I'm just, all I'm trying to do is do a light cleanup and make it look a little bit neater. I'm not trying to make super sharp lines inside the goatee here. All I'm trying to do is get rid of these kind of, these thin spots to make it look a little cleaner. So this is pretty much the end result. As you can see, it looks a lot cleaner. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like the video if you haven't done so already. We'll see you on the next one.